Imagine a place where time slows down and youth stays. Picture women in their 40s with the vitality and appearance of youth and the incredible ability to bear children into their 60s. This isn't a work of fiction, but a reality in a remote valley. Welcome to the story about the Hunza people, a community where living past a century is ordinary. Join us as we dive into the secret tale behind their remarkable longevity, reminiscent of biblical figures like Adam, Noah, and Methuselah. Subscribe to our channel to explore more such fascinating tales. Now let's get started. In the 1970s, National Geographic spotlighted the Hunza, a people hidden in a breathtaking valley surrounded by gigantic mountains. This once hidden gem attracted the adventurous spirits of the 80s and 90s, luring them to its pristine beauty and mysterious residence. The Hunza, a blend of six tribes, have elegantly mixed tradition with the modern world. But it's not just their unique lifestyle that's captivating, it's the mystery of their health and youthfulness. While their exact lifespan remains unconfirmed, many believe they often surpass the century mark, maintaining a youthful vigor and avoiding illnesses that plague others around the world. But could their secret really be that simple? Well, it's extremely effective, we can all agree on that. It is believed that the Hunza's diet is the basis of this longevity, for their health is as pure as the mountain air. They feast on a variety of fresh fruits like apples, pears, peaches, apricots, and cherries of all hues. They cherish apricot kernels for their alleged health benefits. The Hunza's plate is a wide mixture of raw vegetables, spinach, lettuce, carrots, peas, turnips, squash, and an assortment of herbs and sprouted legumes. Their grains are as unrefined as their lifestyle with whole wheat, barley, buckwheat, and millet ground on stone mills, preserving every bit of their natural goodness. Nuts, an essential staple in their diet, include walnuts, almonds, pecans, and hazelnuts, all rich in proteins and healthy fats. But what catches the eye is the richness in the essential vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants, especially vitamin B17 that derives from apricot kernels. Thanks to this medical blessing, it is credited for the Hunza's vigorous immunity and low disease rates. Notably, health issues prevalent in Western societies, like premature heart attacks, are virtually non-existent among the Hunza. The Hunza approach to fats is as mindful as the rest of their diet. They primarily use ghee, butter, and apricot oil, with a special importance placed on the health properties of apricot kernel oil. Their consumption of dairy, including fresh milk, buttermilk, ghee, cottage cheese, yogurt, and sour milk, is unique in its raw, untreated form. Meat, while not a staple, is consumed cautiously, reflecting their commitment to a natural diet, without artificial additives, chemicals, or preservatives. The Hunza method of drying fruits and vegetables exploits the simplicity of sun and air, avoiding any artificial treatments. This wholly differs from neighboring regions where the adoption of modern dietary practices, often in high processed ingredients, correlates with shorter lifespans and increased health issues. The Hunza diet is defined by high complex carbohydrates and a moderate caloric intake, averaging 1,900 to 3,000 calories per day, a huge difference from the calorie-dense, process-rich Western diet. This carbohydrate-heavy diet, constituting about 73% of their caloric intake, comes from wholesome sources such as whole fruits, vegetables, and grains. Protein intake is modest, sourced mainly from plants, and their diet is enriched with probiotic foods like kefir and fermented vegetables. Fish appears occasionally, sometimes only monthly. The absence of refined sugars in their diet is outstanding, with natural sources like fruits, vegetables, and whole grains being the primary contributors. Their most popular dessert, dirham fiti, represents their natural approach to food, relying on the fermentation of wheat grains to create sweetness. Regular fasting periods are also highlighted as a key to their longevity. The Hunza endorse a vegetarian lifestyle combined with constant physical activity, believing that joy and good health are interlinked. Their culture is marked by cheerfulness and an apparent immunity to stress. However, not all views of the Hunza are unanimous. Dr. John Clark, after spending considerable time among the Hunza, observed sicknesses similar to other communities like malaria and dysentery. 
Despite this, many visitors and experts maintain that the Hunza's health and youthfulness are exceptionally superior. Clark also notes that the Hunza's age calculation is not based on years since birth, but rather on wisdom and community standing. This intriguing narrative of the Hunza people paints a picture of a community where diet, lifestyle, and attitude toward life come together to create a unique, healthy, and long-living society, challenging our understanding of longevity and well-being. This remarkable Hunza diet caught the attention of English physician Sir Robert McCarrison. In 1927, at Kunor, McCarrison conducted groundbreaking experiments with albino rats. He fed one group the wholesome diet of the Hunza and other healthy northern Indian communities. Another set of rats received the less nutritious fare of southern Indians, primarily white rice, fried vegetables, and sugar. The third group was subjected to the diet common among England's lower classes, white bread, margarine, sweet tea, limited to boiled milk, cabbage, potatoes, canned meats, and jam. The outcome was astounding. The Hunza-fed rats thrived with no illness, no natural deaths among adults, and minimal infant mortality. On the other hand, the other groups suffered from various illnesses affecting every major organ, alongside hair loss, spinal deformities, poor dental health, and behavioral issues. In modern times, Dr. Dean Ornish, renowned for his spectrum diet and lifestyle, with a near-perfect success rate in treating heart disease without medication or surgery, advocates a diet similar to the Hunza's. Similarly, Dr. Joel Furman, advocating a plant-based diet, backs the Hunza philosophy, aligning with his research on longevity and health. This strongly relates to food writer Michael Pollan's famed mantra, eat food, mostly plants, not too much. A short and sweet highlight of the Hunza diet's essence and a guide to living a long, healthy life without frequent medical interventions. Geographically, the journey to Hunza is as enriching as the destination itself. Situated about 500 kilometers from Islamabad, the journey by car takes two days, crossing beautiful mountain terrains and offering a glimpse into a world untouched by modernity. En route, one encounters scenes of traditional agriculture, people plowing fields with oxen, exhibiting the absence of mechanization in this primarily agricultural land. Small stores dot the roadside, their wide open doors displaying basic necessities, while shopkeepers sit cross-legged awaiting customers. This route is a living showcase of daily life, winding northwards into snake-like roads that lead into majestic mountains, offering breathtaking landscapes untouched by human hands. Waterfalls and scenic vistas accompany travelers on this road, each turn revealing the raw beauty of this land. If you like the video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more amazing content. Continuing our exploration, the Hunza's endurance is further shown by their bathing habits. Imagine dipping yourself in icy waters when the temperatures plummet to 15 degrees below zero. This practice, along with their physically demanding lifestyle, may contribute significantly to their health. The Hunza navigate steep, rugged terrains daily, on foot, tending to their fields and engaging in various outdoor activities. This not only strengthens their cardiovascular health, but it also ensures strong muscle strength. Their villages, some over a millennium old, cling to cliff sides, accessible only through narrow winding paths. The daily journey to their fields is an expedition in itself. In spring, Hunza men can often be seen utilizing the fresh mountain streams for their morning wash. These streams also help cleanse the colorful, richly decorated trucks that are a matter of pride and a symbol of status among the local truckers. The elaborate designs of these vehicles are truly a feast for the eyes. One spectacular point of interest is the Adabad Lake in the Hunza Valley, a natural dam formed by the 2010 earthquake. This catastrophic event reshaped the landscape, creating a breathtaking sight along the Karakoram Highway that connects Pakistan with eastern China. Between all these strenuous activities, the Hunza find time for relaxation, such as sipping tea, Pakistan's national beverage, at unique locations where the Karakoram, Hindukush, and Himalayans meet. This union of mighty mountain ranges evokes a sense of adventure and awe almost divinely. 
Despite religious prohibitions against alcohol, the Hunza have a tradition of home brewing wine, strictly for non commercial purposes, a practice predating the arrival of Islam in the region. A visit to Karimabad is incomplete without trying the honey dipped walnut cake at the Hansa Cafe, a sweet delight that defies its seemingly sentimental nature. A noteworthy aspect of Hunza culture is their child raising practices. Children are exclusively breastfed, with boys for three years and girls for two. This early nourishment, devoid of any specific prenatal care, ensures a strong and healthy start for the infants. Interestingly, Hunzans, including children, do not eat before bedtime and avoid snacking between meals. This discipline contributes to the vital absence of overweight individuals among them. And did you know that despite the global pandemic that has occurred in recent years, the Hunza Valley wasn't much affected by it? Remarkably, this unique corner of the world reported no virus fatalities. While hospitals in surrounding areas were overwhelmed, the Hunza seemed untouched by the virus. This wasn't due to isolation. After all, the valley is a hub for international tourism, though overlooked by the government. Their resilience lies deeper. Among the 40,000 inhabitants, over a thousand tests were conducted, with the vast majority returning negative results and no new cases reported. Unlike their neighbors, the Hunza people are strangers to diseases common elsewhere, such as cancer, appendicitis, obesity, and gastric ulcers. But there's more to their longevity than diet and isolation. The Hunza community thrives on strong social bonds and an intricate support system. One of their other secrets to a long, fulfilling life is not just physical health, but a rich emotional and communal life. The McKinsey Report's concept of adding life to our years applies here. Longevity is meaningless without joy and connection. The Hunza's social health, characterized by deep connections and mutual support, differs greatly from the harmful effects of loneliness, effects that are just as harmful as heavy smoking. Their universal health approach includes spiritual wellness, filling life with purpose and mindfulness, which is proven to reduce the risk of strokes. And so, mental health involving adaptability, emotional processing, and logic is crucial. Chronic stress, as per Yale University studies, can shorten life. With that being said, the Hunza model encourages a balanced lifestyle, putting an emphasis on movement, fasting, and relaxation. So we've journeyed together through the incredible world of the Hunza, a place where longevity is a daily reality. Their story isn't just inspiring, it's a roadmap for all of us seeking a life rich in health, happiness, and community. Now it's your turn to be part of this journey. Can you see yourself walking the paths of the Hunza Valley, breathing in the wisdom of centuries? Hit that like button if you're ready to adopt a slice of their extraordinary lifestyle. And hey, why keep this secret to yourself? Smash that share button. Let's get everyone talking about the Hunza way of life. And don't just stop there. Our channel is a treasure trove of stories about longevity from every corner of the globe. Subscribe and join our quest for a life well lived. Remember, it's not about the years in your life, but the life in your years. Here's to living not just longer, but fuller and richer.